have a perfectly white background in masses. Uh, quick backstory, I've had um, a lot of time to do research. For whatever reason, I couldn't find how to do many products at one time. Uh, Photoshop was pretty good, but I just don't have the time to edit many products at once. So, uh, I have Lightroom open, as you can see. Uh, this is a shared Dropbox file between my client and I. There are 309 photos. These are all blankets that she wants to sell on her website that I am building her. Uh, so in order for these products to look great, I need to have them on a perfectly white background so they fit in seamlessly. Uh, she did an amazing job at photographing these. Uh, she did it on a white background, which of course makes it much easier for me. But uh, as you can see, some of these photos most of these photos actually uh, seem to go from white to gray. They've got this dark shadow which doesn't always look great on a website. So here's how we're going to go in and edit this background. We're going to click develop. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the photo um, as I find needed. Right now, I think I'm just going to adjust the white balance, uh, but feel free to go in here and adjust the temperature, exposure, whatnot. I didn't want to change too much because we are selling these blankets, so we do need to stay as true to the color as possible. Uh, so go ahead and edit all that as needed. Pretty simple. Uh, the next step, and this is really to work on that white background, we're going to click the brush tool. If it isn't already selected, click new. It should automatically do that for you. Uh, and then just go to your exposure level and crank it up to four. That is the maximum exposure you can have. Uh, I always double check to make sure I like my brush size. This is fine, but depending on your photo, you might want to change that. And just make sure your feather and flow, your auto max, and density are all clicked to 100. So we're going to start up here, top right, and I'm just going to outline this photo. Whoops. See, I whenever you touch the product, it will overexpose it as well. So I'm going to click uh, Command Z. I am on a Mac. Um, and try that again. So we're going to go under the product with trying not to touch it all the way around. Great. So now we have a frame. Uh, but as you can see, there's this funky little line that was left here, so we're going to need to adjust that. Um, but before we move that far, feel free to change whatever you want within this exposure level. See, that's the line we did. Look, we missed a corner. That's a great way to check and see if you got all your corners perfectly white. Go back through. Great. So I'm going to bring the exposure level back to 4. Uh, then I'm going to click New. So just like in Photoshop, it's going to create a new mask on top of the one we just created. And I like to work at level 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is good if it's darker, 0.3 is great if it's even lighter. I've, only, I've rarely had to use 0.3. Uh, so I'm just going to go over here and come as close as I can to the product just to level out this frame we created. Um, holding down my mouse key, just kind of going around, making sure it all looks normal. Uh, so that looks great to me. And the best thing about this editing tool is that it keeps the product looking normal. Sometimes I feel like Photoshop makes it look like I cut it out with a pair of scissors. So you still have your shadow, um, your tassels are still all aligned, everything looks great. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click done. 
uh, one of the best ways I find for sorting or saving photos is uh, by rating them. Uh, they're just much easier to find when you're in your library of thousands of photos. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this as a 5 just like I've rated all my other ones that I've edited. Uh, go back into library. Here's my mass group of uh, towels per se. And uh, I'm, say I want to export just the five star. So here I'm going to click under collections. I'm going to go to five star. I'm going to export. So that is a great way if you're wanting to edit these individually. But this video is about mass editing. So I'm going to go back over here to the photo I just edited. I'm going to hold down shift and click however many photos I want to bring those um, corrections over to. Uh, so let's just use these three. If you have um, product, you know, 10 product photos of the same product, um, select all 10. Unfortunately, we have about 50 different versions, so we can't do that. So uh, remember, keep this one as your main selection and then carry it over by holding the shift down to whichever ones you want to continue the edits to. We're going to come over here and click Sync Settings. I normally let it uh, choose automatically for me, but you can add or subtract whatever you find relative. I'm going to synchronize, and then it's going to automatically transfer the edits from my original photo over to the next two. Pretty awesome. So, such a time saver. Um, I hope this has been super helpful, and I hope you have a great day.